Okay, if you're just waking up, just tuning in, Rula, you had us all intrigued when you said margaritas and money. Ooh. Margaritas and money is a mod, a, a present especially, because I think oh, you yeah. have yeah. the highest chance of trying this for us. Okay. Um, so, by the way, if you're just tuning in, it's Rula Ryan, Special K, Sam, and Ahmad. Uh, Eric is under the weather, so he'll be back on Monday. Um, so listen to this. In Las Vegas... There are many casinos, many bars, many clubs. And onlinecasino.ca, it's important to put in the .ca if you're going to look this up, is looking to pay someone who's at least 21 years of age, of course, to sample a margarita a day so that you, in order to win $4,000. Hmm, I do that already. To, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, the job requirement to win $4,000 as a margarita, basically you're going to rank the best margarita in Vegas. And they're opening up this competition to the entire country and Canada. You have to be at least 21 years of age or older, and you must be able and available to be in Vegas for weeks. What's the as criteria? they send you to different places. Like, That's I mean, all what, it is. What makes you a the margarita criteria, expert? Oh, they well, it's really not really about an expert. You're going to give your opinion. So here's what it says. You're going to score these margaritas on the flavor and the taste, the presentation, like the appearance and the garnish they use, the quality of the ingredients used, because we've all had a bad margarita and we've all had a great one. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the setting w- where you're drinking it. Like, is it a great atmosphere? What was the experience where you were drinking the margarita? Is it fun? And then the overall experience is a good value for the money. For the money. Mm. Amad, do so you think you is, could do that? I can. Are they playing for a flight and hotel? And will you guys give me time off to go? <laughs> <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> well, I'm just wondering, are you the kind Sorry, of guy just... that really can soak in the ambience? Or are you just more about, like, this is really messing me up? No, I can soak in the ambience. And I actually went to a margarita taste off a couple weeks ago. And uh, mm-hmm. I had a cucumber serrano margarita oh, from yes. Ambriza. Oh my god! I can't stop thinking about Serrano it. pepper. Yes. It? Oh, but so that's it had good. a little kick to it. It was yeah. really, really good. So I think I'm a margarita connoisseur. Yeah, you know, yeah. I love my spicy oh, yeah. drinks. Which, by the way, for Try It Tuesday next week, it's on. Try It Tuesday next Rula's week. I'm cocktail. bringing in the Rula spicy special. Yes. I'm gonna make it for you guys before I get on with my ankle surgery, where I won't see you in person for a while, so we can all cheer with the Rula spicy special. Rula, I oh, still have disgusting. some of that spicy cotton candy, so we could put some in it. Gross. Oh my uh, god. Okay, good. So make sure nasty. you keep it sealed because okay, I feel yeah. like if I made the spicy special, Ahmad, and then we kind of garnished it with some of that, or had a like like a chaser, like put that jalapeno cotton mm-hmm. candy on your tongue. After you drink it, maybe it'll up the taste of the cotton candy. Something I don't know. By the way, I misspoke. Me. I misspoke. It wasn't for a month. Sorry. Uh, when I was reading it really fast, it was. It's just for one week. It's four thousand bucks for one week. Nice. Oh, that's easy. I wanted to ask four thousand bucks for one week. Like, Sorry. By the way, Ryan, onlinecasino.ca. If you want to apply, guys, it's open to anybody who's twenty-one and up anywhere in the United States and Canada, and they'll contact you back if they want you to be one of their margarita testers through October first. You can apply. Go ahead. So you like the sweet heat. People looked at me like I was insane. When I was in Mexico, I was ordering this drink. Mm-hmm. I like Tito's vodka. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. And I said, can you give me pineapple, splash of OJ, and muddle two jalapenos? Hmm. Muddle. Muddle. You in. want to, you like, excuse me, can you muddle those, bro? <laughs> yeah. Two whole jalapenos, Ryan? And or you, just the slices? The slice. You muddle. This, you muddle. <laughs> yeah, I was going to two <laughs> whole jalapenos. No, no, That's no, why no, they're no, looking no, at you. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, okay. I'm telling you. Exactly. I'm telling you. Pepsi. It sounds bizarre, mm-hmm. but that. It's it just, doesn't sound that bizarre. Along the lines, bizarre. that sweet heat is so amazing. It doesn't sound switch, bizarre at all. Though. There's a lot of cucumber, mint, lime, jalapeno, right. the orange pineapple juice throws type. Me out. The orange juice throws me off. I don't yeah. like orange juice. Just, in my a, I mean, it has I'm to talking be like, like a splash. dropper. It can't full. be too much. Just a little oh, tiny okay. bit. You know what? At Boosters, at, the pineapple. at Boosters in my wedding, we had uh, one of the signature drinks was the Ancho Chile Margarita. And Ooh, you use a yummy. special uh, liqueur called Ancho Chile. I think it's Ancho. Chile. Yeah, liqueur. Ancho Chile. <laughs> uh-huh. And so um, it, it was lovely. And I think if it, you can go too far with it, though. You know, it can get too spicy, yeah. especially with the yeah. pepper vodka. Like, ab- absolute, mm. I think, makes a pepper vodka. A little vodka. goes a long way. Ghost right. tequila is an excellent spicy tequila. Oh, I love that's, that. That's a oh, nice hint. That has mm-hmm. such a nice hint. It's like a nice heat, but nothing too Do you guys crazy. like... Um, for years, my drink was a Greyhound, which is just grapefruit juice and vodka. But mm. if you do grapefruit juice mm. and once again, cut it with some orange juice in it. Oh, my God. Grapefruit, orange juice, and vodka. Ooh, mm. what a... I'm Seems not so big Look, there are some margaritas. There are some margaritas that instead of using triple sec or Cointreau, some people just do a splash of OJ just to kind of make it a little bit of a sweeter mm. hit, but not too not too acidic or citrusy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, OJ can... OJ in... in 
like uh, what in doses, I think is good. So I don't like drinks that are overpowered by OJ. Right. Yeah. Well, like, too I don't many like sweet a screwdriver. Plus, you drink, you drink too many screwdrivers. The next morning, you get the rumbly tummy. Oh yeah, definitely. Kevin, and, speaking of being in Mexico, yeah. you know, for weddings and such, you know, you might have a. Especially you showed us a variety of wardrobe for your swimwear, and yes. I don't know if this is going to excite you or not. However, it turns out, according to today's news, my friends, the speedos are back in style. You'll see more and more men wearing Speedos. Because, like, when did they go out of style? Exactly. <laughs> Amara, have, do you wear Speedos? No, I don't. Not yet. Once I get this body right, <laughs> You're yeah. striving okay. for a Speedo. I see. Yeah. I don't know well, if I... I'm striving for a slutty Halloween costume this year. Slutty so I've been, I've been hitting the gym a lot. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I wear Speedos right. as well. You yeah, know, I, I've never seen one... On a straight dude here in Texas. No. It's usually European men. Yes. 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 For sure. In, That's the standard. In mm-hmm. Mexico, of course. Where I go in Puerto Vallarta, it's super gay. So you'll see a lot of dudes in those short. It's either a trunk, which I mean like tight, tight, uh-huh. short Like trunk. booty shorts. Uh-huh. Yeah, like booty shorts. Yeah. Or, which is kind of where I started with the trunk because I wasn't comfortable yet. Mm-hmm. But now That's that where I, I'm at. Right, right. But, <laughs> but now that I, I have hit the gym a little bit more and I, I do have some. Some, some decent. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got the to, guns out right. today. So now I feel <laughs> completely comfortable out. with. I, you got to match, and then you got to match the suit to the sh- shirt. You know, because mm-hmm. you're, you're walking, walking coordinating the yeah, shirt. You you're walking. Do. I yes. hate when people don't like. If Mark doesn't, he'll wear like two different prints. I'm like, what are you doing? You look like a toddler. Yes. Like no, well, the wear a solid shirt. Like okay, I got you on two different prints Gosh. is wrong. But it's one thing if you're gonna if you're gonna say, well, he was wearing like red like khaki shorts and a blue shirt. I'm not offended. No, but yeah, if you're wearing two like prints? palm trees on uh. your chubbies, right? Those short. Yes. Um, the, but the what swim Kevin is saying versus you know like. Margaritas on your Hawaiian shirt, that's an arrest. It's just too much. Are you saying like the shirt has got to match like like almost like it looks like the guy on the Cracker Jack box. He's got like the navy blue shirt and the navy blue trunks. It Something like match. that. Yeah, or yeah. like some yeah, kind it of It just looks like an outfit. Yeah. Like, by the way, Ryan, exactly. the guy in the Cracker Jack box is a sailor. I know. I, I think that it's just navy and navy is the uniform. <laughs> 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 so Kev likes to look like a sailor when he goes to the beach. Yeah. Now, do like fellas uh, ever wear uh, thongs? Uh, mm, I've seen know. I've seen, seen a handful, but not not as many as you would think. It depends well, on what time of year, guys. Yeah. yeah, men's swimwear is a booming market, and there is a huge variety of choices right now, and they're getting shorter and shorter. Mm-hmm. So short proportions in men's fashion is growing very popular, and there is a huge surge in the sales of short shorts, mm-hmm. um, speedos, Crocs. Socks. Oh, no, 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 Crocs. Mullet no. hairstyles. No, oh, yeah. Mustaches. No. Oh, oh no. Uh, I'm sorry. This is Some a renewed interest in high. all these things. You want a mullet? Renewed a guy interest. with a mullet, a mustache, and Crocs. Yeah, that could work. Maybe that'll be It could work. It could 100% work. Could, Sam knows. Yes. We kind of like the Poor same Poor little Santi right now kind of has a mullet right now because his hair is like growing out he's on the side. He's a baby. Of course. So he's like, <laughs> <laughs> but he's just like, he's like fitting into society right now with his little mullet. Rula, are your kids <laughs> obsessed with Crocs? Because my little siblings Oh my God, are. yes. My little siblings are obsessed. It's all about Crocs. 100%, Ahmad. Yeah. 100%. All my, all my kids have Crocs, and then you got the charms, the Croc charms, uh-huh. and now you can find them on Amazon. They'll send you, like, a 40-pack of Crocs charms, and they all split them up. And, you know, I, I never thought in my life I would wear a pair of Crocs. And when I was at Disney World, um, because of this ankle surgery that's looming, I didn't know at the time how bad it was. I didn't have a brace. I hadn't gone to the doctor for this, and I was hurting so bad. I was in the Disney gift shop at 3 o'clock. We'd been up since, like, 7. And I was crippled. I was broken. And all they had was Mickey Mouse Crocs. And I go, well, <laughs> let me just take my hokas off and just, you know, maybe just give it a change for a second. Let me just see what this feels like. And I'm like... Oh, glory. It's glory. I bought the pair of Mickey Crocs. You, you know, went all in. And yep. they're glorious. I just can't I do it. I see people glorious. coming into the gym. I would say majority that of the youth annoys me. comes yes. into the gym. I, ages ages yes. uh, maybe like 16 to 23 coming in with Crocs. And how do you play basketball, number one, in you Crocs? Can't. And yeah. then number how two, do, do leg exercises? You got exercises? this strap, Kev. You put the strap around. You can't. Yeah. Yeah. That's sport mode, then, Sam. Yeah. Sport, sport mode. <laughs> I think... Sport mode. And you know we, we 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 have blanket statements. If you're wearing Crocs, you're lazy. 
Yeah. Uh, when I see somebody, when whoa. I see somebody in like old school sweatpants and Crocs, Starting I'm somewhere. just looking at that yeah. person saying they've given up. I'm sorry mm-hmm. if Be you don't nice. have, if you don't take the moment to to put on a shoe and tie it. You got, you know, you got your to your socks. You're and your one toes step away you from a toddler's you're saying to the, Velcro to the gym, strap. Kevin, or you're saying in general? In general. In general. Uh, in general. And I'm so sorry, Croc folk. No, I'm on Kevin's but side. I feel like folk. you're looking at my little fake Birkenstocks right now. Uh, <laughs> Sandals, what's buddy? okay with Birkenstocks and you can't wear Crocs? Yeah. Like what's, but please don't why, wear socks with them. Why is it so different? No. Because if, what he's wearing, a, a Birkenstock is a beautifully sewn piece of craft. But they have yeah. rubber yeah. ones. No, like, the, I have rubber yeah, they Birkenstocks have the rubber ones. and I love those. Okay, but a Croc yeah. is just, it's pressed in a machine. Yeah. A Birkenstock is like it handcrafted, stitched, mm. and put together. Not the well, plastic one ones. Sam's talking about. Yeah. Not My daughter has the same one Sam has. Same exact concept. Mine are exactly the same. Yeah. And, and listen, the Croc thing also, I, here's what I learned, Kevin. I never thought Crocs needed to come back. And this is why it's so popular with kids, Ahmad, I think, in my world. Mm-hmm. You know, kids who play sports, you're wearing cleats and all that stuff. Softball mud, baseball mud, basketball shoes you don't want to walk on the concrete with, football cleats. When you take off the cleats, you want to slip in on something easy and cushiony. And flip-flops don't do it. So mm-hmm. the croc is very uh, easy, and it's really good, actually. Okay, no, I got you back on that, because I, when I went to my nephew's uh, Little League game, a lot of those players, when they were done, they took off their cleats, and they were all wearing crocs. Okay, fine. I will give yeah. it to you as a therapeutic relief after a game. But in general, to wear it to like to work in normal days Not as and a everything fashion like that, statement. Just, just like normal, everyday wear, it's a smidge lazy, because you mm-hmm. didn't even you, you didn't do anything. You just I know what I'm getting Kevin for his birthday. Don't you uh, get uh, it. Totally uh, that could be your punishment. That's what you're getting. And now you know. Huh. All right, guys, Sucker. coming up next, we want to hear. We haven't done this in a while, so let's see what we get with our eight o'clockers on romance or no chance. Romance or no chance is where we ask you guys to tell us about a weird or wacky first date you guys had. You will not reveal to us if you saw each other again or started dating or got married. We're going to guess based on the on the actions of that first date whether y'all ever saw each other again. That's why we call it romance. Or no chance. 713-390-KRBE plus the summer of 2020 free is right around the corner on the Rule and Ryan Show. It's the Rule and Ryan Show. We call it romance or no chance. Maybe your first date was very unconventional and it just wasn't the norm. We got to guess well, whether or not you saw him again. Well, something weird happened on it. Yeah. There's something wacko, something just really off that people think, oh, for sure you guys never saw each other again. And they're like, oh, guess what? We've been dating for six months. Or, or we've we been married. married. Yeah. 713-390-KRBE. Nimi is up first. Good morning, Nimi. Hey, Nimi. Nimi. I'm calling you a show. How are you guys? Hey, we're oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. You want to share we're with happy us it's your, Friday. You want to share with us your first uh, experience? We got to figure out whether or not you're together. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I met uh, this person online and we connected. And the very next day, he invited me to a date. Uh, It was at a bar somewhere in downtown Houston area. When I got there, I was about five minutes late. He kind of fussed me about that. And then he, um, the place was like a terrible, dingy little bar. Never been, you know, to some, some place like that. Anyways, uh, through the night, I'm a talker, in, but I could not put a word in. Um, he talked a lot about his kids, about his, more about his kids, actually, not so much about himself. And then at the end of the day, we left within an hour. It was not going much anywhere. And then uh, when we got out, he started having a conversation with a homeless person, uh, kind of talked to that person. And then he asked me, do you want to go for a walk? Uh, I said, okay, maybe this will get better. So I went for a walk. So we went round the building, and then there was a dark corner. Uh-oh. And he, he said, let's let's go there. And I said, okay, Uh-oh. you know, let's see where this goes. Oh, and, why are you uh-huh. doing that? A <laughs> dark corner? I know, right? Dark corner. <laughs> I know. He must have been hot. <laughs> okay, so you go to the dark corner, you say yes to that, and then what happens I mean, to me? Right, and then he says, uh, he has like a brief conversation, and then he says, uh, "Guess what? I have a gun. I'm going to hold you up." <gasps> what? Are you kidding what? me? What? Oh, was that real? The, was, was he just was messing that, with you? Did he, he actually hold you up? No, he was pranking. And then the worst part was, uh, ten years <laughs> prior to that incident, I was actually held at gunpoint. So you're, oh in my, my god! You've got PTSD so because this has actually happened to you before. It, All right, do we, was, can we just vote now? Well, or do yeah, we have to hear finish, more of this chaos? Oh my God. Is there more we need to know? 
Come again? Is there more we need to know to this before we guess if there is a second date? <laughs> Go ahead, make a guess. Okay, okay. okay. I'm just going to put so her let's down. So let's just reset. Let's reset, Sam. <laughs> let's reset, he, Sam. He, he she meets the guy at a dingy bar late. she's never been to. He's five minutes late. Talks about his kids a lot. She doesn't get a word in. Takes her to a dark corner after talking to a homeless guy. Says, let's go for a walk. Goes to a dark corner. Says, I have a gun. I'm going to hold you up. But was just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Please tell me y'all never saw each other. Yeah, I ho- I, I'm, I'm going to guess you never had to see this guy I'm going to say yes because he was oh, so God. hot and she liked the role play. I, she sounds tickled. Oh Be, so <laughs> yeah. since, since she sounds yeah, tickled, might be right. they're definitely together, had another date, and possibly even married. Yeah. Yeah. Rilla, your thoughts? <sighs> I mean, I want to say that I don't want to. I don't want to know that she saw him again. I switched my the vote. The fact that she wanted to go to the corner, even though it was weird already, means he had to be hot. I said yeah. while she was saying. Yeah. But still, yeah. I'm gonna say no, not again. I'm not gonna again. say I'm going with Kevin and Sam. Yeah, you saw her. Okay, so again. three yeses, one no. What's okay, the answer, it's a yes. We are going to celebrate our second anniversary together. Oh, he is yeah. the best. He is the best human I have ever met, Ben, and he's an amazing guy, and he's actually the person who put me onto the show. Wow. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he turned you on to the Rule and Ryan show. Gotta love that. Were you not a little freaked out, though, know, when he right? said, uh, were you not a little freaked out when he said, hey, I've got a gun, I'm going to hold you up? <laughs> Obviously. I know, right? But he... he, he I, And then my response was, I was held at gunpoint, and I don't know what he said at that point, but I was never in a panic stage or anything. I don't know what what it was about him. You were attracted Uh, to him. That's it, right? Yeah. I guess. I guess. I don't know. I mean, I don't know (laughs) what was going on. And the next day, he invited me for yogurt 20 miles away from my home. (laughs) Oh my God! Oh, he makes Nimi, you drive twenty miles. Everyone is saying oh, he has to be super hot. On text, they're like, he has <laughs> it's to not be yogurt super or yoga. hot. I Yo- heard wait, yogurt. Yogurt or yoga? Yogurt. 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 So yogurt. Might, yogurt. TCBY. Some TCBY. <laughs> yeah. But you got to drive twenty miles to me. <laughs> oh my well, God! Well, congratulations on your two years. That's funny. Wow. 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 Okay. Held up at gunpoint. Never pretend. been happier. Yeah. Good. Never been well, happier. Love it. Thank I'm you. Glad. And thanks Good to luck. him for introducing you to the Rule and Ryan Show family. But still, no. <laughs> the crap that you it's ladies romance have to put or no up with. chance. Here on the Rule and Ryan Show, you tell us a weird or wacky first date, and we're going to guess if y'all dated again, even one more time, just to kind of have a mulligan. Heather is up next at 713 390 KRBE. Hi, Heather. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I feel like my story is so. Uh oh. So what? I think you muted your phone. Cheek hit so the phone. I met a. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. You feel okay. like your story is so what, and then you dropped out. Oh, it's so vanilla. <laughs> so so compared vanilla. to her, vanilla. that's okay. We'll still yeah, guess. It's all right. We, all right. We like to play. Tell this us game. what happened with your first date. So I met a guy on Plenty of Fish. If you've been on the website, it's fun. Mm -hmm. And the gentleman that I met, he lived two hours away from me. Oh, we were we were I were geographically undesirable, Heather. Did you guys uh, meet in between, (laughs) or what? What did you decide on? Well, he worked two hours away as well, so it's closer to my home. Mm -hmm. So we met thirty minutes from his work. And mm-hmm. um, I, we were meeting at a specific time, and I was 45 minutes late. So You were 45 uh-huh. minutes late. And why was this? Why were you 45 minutes late? Well, leaving work, didn't know what to wear. Had to oh, find, yeah. Well, I, I, mean, I did pick something out the day before, but I had mm-hmm. to go home, change. And my, ex, my reason for him, which was true, though, I bought him a gift because we were talking for a while, and he wanted something, not wanted something, I just wanted to get him something. Oh, so, so that's nice of you. So, that's for, nice. so I'm sorry. I'm trying to walk into work, and I'm like, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, it's, <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's like you're, it's like you're walking that late. hot summer trail. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Sounds like you're late a lot. Okay. Um, okay. So, so you're late to the date. Forty five minutes. Now, in the in the forty five minute time, I don't know if I'm allowed how many questions to ask, but were you texting him? Hey, I'm so sorry. I'm caught up. It'll be thirty minutes. Or did he know it'd be forty five minutes? Or was he just thinking you're this super rude and he wasn't even there when you got there? I mean, what happened there? No, so we were texting back and forth. I was saying, I got to go get your gift. Like, cause it was true. It was at my house. It was sent by Amazon. And I had to go get it. And he was he was understanding. He was like, I'm going to go stop at the store anyways. 
but he never stopped at the store. He was waiting at the restaurant, mm. which, uh, waiting there. He was trying to make so, you feel good. Okay. Yeah. And he, so by the time I got there, I didn't know if he was going to be there or not. You know, who would wait 45 right. minutes and still right. have to yeah. travel home, which is another hour and a half. So he ended up being there, and um, he, I mean, it, that, is that, that was pretty much it. Well, like when you yeah. saw him where you're yeah. like, well, hubba hubba. Well, who says that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, what word is that? <laughs> hubba you don't, hubba. You don't who even need that? to answer that. Okay. Don't even answer that. <laughs> don't even answer that because it also gives it away. He's trying yes. to find answers. So all we know here is that you guys met on Plenty of Fish, and it is a geographically undesirable situation because you're like two hours away from each other, met in the middle, 30 minutes apart. You're 45 minutes late today, and he was still there. I just Do hear we too think much... they saw each other one more time? Yeah, because I hear too much happiness in her voice. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. She sounds, she sounds like in glee. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Look, this guy... Yep. Yeah, I think that they saw each other again because he, you must have been attractive just from the picture or whatever. For him to wait that long wait for the first date, yes. Yeah, we all think that y'all went out at least one more time. What's the answer, Heather? So we've been in together for a year and a half, and we're living together, and everything's going well. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if I could have brought up the second date, the second date was even worse because it was me oh again. God. I'm like, oh but he is. He's a wonderful, great person. He is, uh, I am very lucky. What was <laughs> yes, the gift I that you got him? Nice. Can you share with us what the gift was? So he is a big Ohio State fan. Okay. And I bought him. So, I mean, again, this is first date. So I bought him some Ohio State socks. Oh, okay. So That's cute. It was just a little small gift. It was our first date. So, but yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Congratulations. Okay. See, that also probably caught him, too. Like, he thought you were real foxy, and then he's like, oh, my gosh, you brought me some socks. Okay, let's go. Well, congratulations on that. That's great. Now, listen, we got to go to Lacey for Romance or No Chance. We're doing Romance or No Chance here on The Rule and Ryan Show. Lacey's going to tell us about a weird or crazy eventful first date. We're going to guess what happened after that if they saw each other even at least one more time. Hi, Lacey. Good morning. Good morning, Lacey. Lay it on us. What was your date like? Um, first off, he picked me up about 45, well, about 45 an hour late. Oh, God. Okay. Um, and then he proceeds to tell me that it was his friend's birthday the night before. This was for Sunday brunch. He tells me it was his friend's birthday the night before, and then he's possibly still a little drunk. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. As he's picked you and, up in his car. I'm so hungover. Yeah, I'm drunk. he picked me up, and I was like... Um, then we get to the restaurant. We're sitting there. I kid you not. He threw up in my lap. Oh, oh he ew. threw up in your lap. Oh, ew. Oh, yes. oh, but was he hot? Did you like him? I oh, <laughs> Then, oh, yeah, okay, he was super hot. Okay. Super hot. And then he goes to the back. He, I get cleaned up. He gets you know, Disgusting. he puts himself together. He doesn't eat any food, but he <laughs> sits and stares at me weirdly while I eat. Oh, God. <laughs> you mean you still had an appetite after you got thrown up on? on? I don't you, know so what's happening there. Look at you. Oh, my no, gosh. I'm, I'm sorry. I am sorry. He threw up on me after I ate. I apologize. Oh, okay. That, okay. That, okay, 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 yeah. So, so he's watching um, you eat because he then, can't eat because he's so hungover. Okay. Right. And then he, um, then he, I'm very... I'm weirdly picky, and he makes, he's like, oh, you're so picky. I don't, uh, you know, just like criticizing that, 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 that I'm picky about what I eat. Oh, what are guys thinking when they then, do that? Then he um, goes to the bathroom and is gone for like 30 minutes. I'm oh, no. sure, whatever. That's what I'm sure I would he, he's thrown up more probably. <laughs> okay. And he, he probably he was, got the shakes he then. He was my bride. Sweating. He was my bride. Oh, oh no. I was like, well, there's I over, like, but we don't know what you're doing. Okay. Okay. And then? Anyway, so then he takes me home, and that was the end of the date. He didn't try to kiss you with puke breath? Ew, oh, Ryan. Oh, okay, don't answer yeah, anymore. Okay. Don't answer anymore. Hold on, turn her down, turn her down so she doesn't really anything yeah. else. I think it's time to vote. And for those I, I say in, she saw him again because he was super hot. Well, here's no, the recap. No, no. Lacey went on a date with a guy who showed up, he picked her up, still drunk from his friend's birthday party the night before, but reveals this to her as she's already in the car with him. He is so hungover when they get to the restaurant, he just can watch her eat because he can't eat. Then he throws up in her lap. Oh my gosh. Heck no. And she doesn't leave.
<laughs> I know. No. So, Kevin, you're trying to tell me if you were dogmatized and it was just like the hottest guy on earth, even if he threw up on you, you're saying no. No, okay. he's not. No. Yeah, that was not See, the case. But she did not. She, she didn't say that he was the hottest guy on earth. She said right. he was really super hot. But she said he was okay. super hot. So because I'm he saying was super together. hot. I still I can't. Well, women, uh, women don't have the same brain as men. I don't, right. that's I don't think that. I, okay, I still say no. I say Guys. yes. I see saw, saw him again. I'm really? saying yes. I'm saying yes because she said there were other things that happened after the throw up in the lap. She did not end the story oh. with, he threw up in my lap, which means she still wanted to somehow give him a chance. Let's find out. What's the answer, Lacey? Been together 30 years, married 25 in November. <laughs> yeah! Yay! Oh, man. Oh, so man. you can see oh, past the God. puke. Now I got to see wow. how hot he is. Hold up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Lacey, wow. I mean, wow. You you win romance or no chance. Today. Congratulations. <laughs> that, was that was not Thanks vanilla at all. That show. was wild. And congratulations I to never. your um, marriage, a long-lasting marriage. Thank you so much for listening to our show, Lacey. Have a great Friday. Have a good day. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Take, Take care. care. I'm telling you, sometimes Bye. you just know. When you know, you know. The spark is there, and you're like, yeah, this is it. Somebody, Kevin, says he probably had a mullet and Crocs. And she still thought he was hot. <laughs> Kevin's getting killed on text about saying he hates Crocs. He thinks if you wear Crocs, you're lazy. Firefighters are texting us. Um, we wear Crocs in the firehouse because boots are dirty. That's fine. Nurses are texting us. We wear Crocs all day, and we are the nothing. It's okay. We're everything except lazy. In those kind of situations, <laughs> I, I think what he, I'm getting Kevin's back on this. When you're wearing it as your daily fashion... I think it's lazy. But you don't know what's Thank wrong you, with people. Ryan. I've never in my right. life worn Stop Crocs, judging. guys, and I've worn Stop Crocs judging. now because of my ankle problem. You don't know what's well, wrong with people. Again, Stop judging. No, yeah. once again, there are mitigating circumstances like you have where you get a pass for that. Um, Rula, I'm so sorry, but the the young fellas that are coming into my gym, they do not have ankle problems in this right, problem. They're right. playing basketball in Crocs. It is lazy yeah, see, Kev, with a capital When you said that, C. I was thinking, I was thinking <laughs> maybe they walk in with the Crocs, Crocs oh, and then put on the basketball <laughs> shoes and then walk out with the Crocs. But the fact they're playing in the Crocs, that just sounds like a, a disaster waiting to happen. They're going to need right. ankle surgery. Right? <laughs> Go to the, yeah, they are. Go to the listener line, 713-278-VENT. That's 8368 your phone and yeah speaking of ankle surgery i'll give you all the scoop on that coming up next because things are gonna be a little different I, i'm at home today because we're doing a little test show in case you're just tuning in we'll talk about that next on the rule and ryan show movies music tv and all things hollywood rule and ryan celebrity scoop Woo! on krbe all right, I want y'all to forget that uh, the summer of 2023 continues on at 120 and 520 today. Two more chances to become a finalist for $10,000. Jose was our 820 finalist. He was Texter 104 with the word summer. So he is now in the hat, in the box of names that we're going to pull one from at the end of the summer and score $10,000. Somebody's going to score $10,000. Two more chances today, 120 and 520. A little, it's, it's away from Hollywood scoop. It's a little KRBE scoop. We were just j talking about Crocs. And if, maybe like at 8 o'clock this morning, we came, this came up. And people are texting us about Crocs. And I said how, oh, by the way, if you go to at Radio Rule on Instagram stories, I just posted my Disney Crocs for the win. Oh, God. Um, so never in my life have I ever wanted to buy a pair of Crocs. I kind of wish they made them into better shape so they don't look so... Ugly. I don't know what the word is saying? Ugly, like, <laughs> wide, and bulky, bulky. That is yeah. not a sexy shoe. Um, I'm sorry. It's not meant to be a sexy yeah, shoe. It's just unfortunately very comfortable and just not that stylish. But well, I'm comfortable laying around charms. in my underwear, but I don't go out in public in it. Anyway, a lot of people have Crocs, and one woman said, "Rula, I hate the look of Crocs." And my daughter and my niece gifted me some, and O M G, they are so comfortable, hideous looking. But comfortable, absolutely. So I've been wearing Crocs ever since I um, went to Disney World with my daughter in the fall because I was having such a bad time in my hokas as I walked, you know, the half marathon a day around the Disney parks. Hocus, hokas, the, type of the tennis shoes. Oh, okay. It's really awesome tennis shoes. And I had bought one pair brand new because, you know, when you go to Disney, you're walking a lot, minimum like 11, 12 miles a day. And I thought, okay, my ankle hurts. I don't really know what's wrong with it that much yet. I'm going to wear these new Hoka's, and then I got my broken-in Hoka's. Well, they both broke me, and I was in the gift shop, and they had the Crocs with the little Mickey Mouse ears as the dots instead of the regular Croc sand with the holes. Yeah. These are Mickey Mouse things, so I posted them on at Radio Rula. Well, then after that, I went to the doctor for, like, a real serious appointment, and next week, I'm having ankle surgery. They have to fuse my joint in my ankle, and I have torn tendons 
bones and I have a chipped bone. Who the hell knew I was walking around with that much pain and I didn't realize it? So it's come to this now. I am broadcasting from the house today. Not only because we're just trying to, this is how it has to be now for me because anybody who's ever had ankle surgery, it is a really bad recovery. It's not about the surgery being bad. It's the recovery that's bad. You got to do that I cannot rehab. walk at all. Mm-hmm. I cannot walk at all for two weeks when it happens. And then after that, I will go to the doctor for an evaluation and then they're going to put me in a hard cast for, I think he said four weeks or four to six weeks. And then from that, I'm going to be in a boot for like another six weeks. So it's going to be very difficult to get around. And I cannot drive for three months because it is my driving foot. If it was not my driving foot, it would not impact my life so much. So for the next, you know, whatever weeks, it's going to be mama from home and the rest of the gang is going to be in the studio. Uh, but next Tuesday, we do Try It Tuesday. And I've been very excited to share my Rula Spicy Special with you guys. Oh and I wanted man. to do it for this past Tuesday, but I didn't have enough of the good stuff. Like, I I didn't, I forgot to get a jalapeno from the store. So I was like, no, I'm not making that spicy special unless it's top notch. So for my last in-studio Try It Tuesday for a while, we're going to have the Rula Spicy Special with my yummy chili vodka and all the things. So I'm very so excited, looking forward to that. it's going to be the drunk show on Tuesday. Probably because I really have low tolerance, and somebody's texting. Yay! Wait, yeah, yay! And one person texted me when I first mentioned the ankle surgery an hour ago. I had like three or four people text me because people who know know. Like when we were flying back from whatever trip we took last, there was a man at the window seat. I was at the aisle. I was wearing the boot, and he goes, "You gonna have ankle surgery?" And I said, "Actually, yeah, I am gonna have ankle surgery." He's like, "Oh God." I had it two years ago. Do you remember what it was like when I uh, when I they severed my totally tendon? When I severed my Achilles tendon, and I had to wear that boot for three months. And the scooter, the Neil scooter, is the best way. That is like a godsend. You can move around on that thing. You got one now, right? Yeah, my friend actually had ankle surgery a year and a half ago, and she dropped off her knee scooter yesterday. My kids have been zooming around with it. It's fun. I, go, I don't think that's what that's for, guys. It's like a bike with no pedals, Mommy. It's <laughs> so much. Until you have to start doing the physical rehab, and that is work, but until you're allowed to start doing physical rehab, the Neil scooter is the way to go. I'm telling you. Somebody it's so much quicker text, than crutches. Well, I, I think, I don't know. I feel like crutches are better for me because I can control them. I got some I guns, know. though, we'll when I had crutches, goes. though, man. Work up your arm, or arms. Oh, what happened to them? Yeah, this text. They went away. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Kevin for the win on that. Uh, one person, one person texted. I desperately need to talk to you about your ankle surgery because I have similar issues and I have been struggling for three years. Same, and it's come to this. You can try and put it off as much as you want. You can do the shots as much as you want. You can only take them for so many times, and then you just have to go under. So it'll be very interesting. Very interesting. And anybody who's had it, y'all text me at 37530. Tell me if it was a better go than everyone else is telling me it was because it sounds pretty painful. And that's all. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rula and Ryan show on KRBE with what's going down, 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 down in H-Town. It is brought to you by Duncan. Yesterday was 713 day, and that's the original area code in Houston, Texas. So we have four area codes. And we are now projected to get another one. Nuh-uh. Yes, in the third quarter of 2025. The new one... Isn't they re- run out of 346? They ran out of 346. They're, They're running out. out. The new yeah. one requires input from public approval from the board. I the said it should be 104. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. 104. Yeah, I don't right think here. any of you can start with 104 because a lot of... No. So, some things you have to dial 1. They don't want to do 713. 1. Right. Exactly. Right, right. Well, so, it's still a great idea, guys. It won't affect any existing mm-hmm. numbers, but the <laughs> Public Utility Commission of Texas is now accepting public comments. You have until August 5th to make a submission. Okay, so when you say public comment, you say, I don't like that one. Keep I going. Want suggestion. That I don't like I that. I think it's suggestions. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because had they come up with 346, had they come up with 281 and 832 after 713 bulked up? Yeah. So I don't know. What would we think? Let's give us, let's give us some numbers. Is Something that's easy to remember. 469. Oh my God! Right? Just... <laughs> I'm over it. I'm moving on. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, there's going to be some construction in the gallery. Oh, you stop! There's going to be construction in the gallery area this weekend. Uh, but this is going to be the last weekend where they shut things down because this is really cool. Cool. Construction crews are going to close the West Loop southbound. That part's not crew. Uh, cool at 59, but they're going to be restriping the lanes and they prepare the southbound bridge for traffic. Um, because guess what? All those lanes that have been closed off, they're opening up. 
So Monday, your commute's going to be a lot better. The Westheimer entrance ramp onto the West Loop is also going to finally reopen. It's been closed for months. So there will be traffic starting 8 o'clock tonight through Monday morning, 5 a.m., right in that Galleria area at 59 and 610. But then Monday, it's going to be a whole new world. And that's what's going down in H-Town. All right, coming up next, did you... Did you not get your groove on yet for Friday or thinking, God, what am I going to do this week? And I want to move my booty and shake it around. Or what's the new term? I don't know. I feel like I'm being a boomer. But guess what? It's Friday free for all time, baby. Y'all. Kevin's going to give it to us. I have the most badass remix of love. Uh, of uh, oh my god, be my lover. I was like, what do I have? <laughs> Labouche, Labouche, be my, be my lover. lover. You really got to stick around for this remix. It is sickening. sickening. I can't wait. I can't wait. The Friday free for all will be fire next on the Rule and Ryan show.